98.5 KRZ. Woo! Yeah, Chubb and Jeff and Amanda here at Montage Mountain with a couple of people that everybody wants to meet. We got Jordan and Danny from New Kids on the Block. What's the word? And a lot What's of up? Happy What's up? It just came alive. Yes, it did. <laughs> Love well, you too. Well, first of all, welcome to Northeast Pennsylvania. Northeast, Thank you. thanks. Thank you. And uh, Danny and I were just talking, and you know, I forget this. I grew up in the Boston area where you guys are from. I was asking him if you still follow the Red Sox, and of course, of course, Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, Bruins. You know, it never leaves your system, does no, it? No, never, ever. And uh, you were asking about the Office because, of course, everybody sees that, and it's based theoretically in Scranton. And you actually wanted to go see some of the things you see on the show, right? Well, yeah, I just wanted to be there. I wanted to see if I could, you know, run into anyone. But You know, you know. I have a feeling, like for anybody who's ever traveled to Boston and you want to see where Cheers was theoretically yeah, filmed. Yeah. No, really, it really was filmed there. So you're breaking people's hearts. I know, but it's you know it's a letdown when you actually go and see it and you expect it to be just like the and TV And you expect show. to walk in and everyone go, where everyone knows yeah. the name. Well, <laughs> you expect Norm at the bar. That's how it is, though, in Boston, though. But I think if you went to see downtown Scranton, you would see a lot of the things you see on the show there, but... Right. You're not going to find, you know, Dunder Mifflin. No, nah, I figured. It's just, you know, it's a fantasy of mine, but uh, it's my favorite TV show. So. But let's talk about what you guys are doing these days. How does this feel? i got to ask you this. When you were starting out, it must have been pressure-filled. You know, you're trying to break into the music industry. Right. Now, 20 or so years later, is there? do you feel more pressure now trying to recreate or start, not start over, but you know what I mean, uh, to recreate what you had before, is it is it tougher now than before? It's not tougher. It's definitely easier because you bring all the experience that uh, from before. So we're not making all those mistakes we made the first time around. And you bring thousands and thousands of fans automatically. Yeah, I mean we're lucky that we have such uh, great fans. They're the best fans in the world. So um, um, speaking of the fans, I mean the first time around they were all like screaming teenagers that you couldn't really, uh, I guess, hang out with after the show. And And now they're like, you know, the cougar, MILF types. Are you loving the fans a little more this time? Well. Literally loving the fans a little more? (laughs) Not literally loving them a little more, but. (laughs) Legally loving them a little more. (laughs) Some of us might be. Some of us might be loving them a little more. Yeah, some of us might be. But, um, no, the, the, the crowd is definitely a lot it's more grown up. A lot of people go, "Oh, what is that? Old ladies at your show?" No, wrong. The 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 women at our show have grown up, and they're very very sexy, hot, and it's a pleasure and a joy to look out into the crowd, and to see all the hot beautiful ladies out there. That sounded really sexy. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's very true. I agree. And you know what? It's even better from say my standpoint. When you guys were creating hysteria years ago, from a DJ standpoint, it was. Wow, it was just a nightmare because they were all like 10 years old, and to be honest, no offense, obnoxious, and they would call the radio station nonstop. Yeah. And then they hang up and think they were changing their voice and call right back yeah. and request the same song. Know. You know, and We now, have amazing fans. They're very, very passionate. But now it's lovely because they're all in their 30s, and they're here, and they're yeah. looking good, and they're excited. Yes. One of them wants to sleep with Joey, the, the girl over there, the married girl. Which one? The married one? The one in the green. Just sleep, turning, though. Just yes, sleep. right. She, she might just like, wants to snore in front of Joe. Little just spooning. wants to cuddle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all good. Mm. So, obviously, tonight, everybody coming up here. And, by the way, we put together a great KRZ deal where they can walk up here, get in for 10 bucks with parking. Uh, so, there's going to be a massive walk-up audience here tonight. Is it uh, is it the same show as far as dancing, or do you just skip the dancing now at this age? We dance more now than we did before. Really? Definitely, yeah. We dance I mean, more and better. And better, yeah. Me, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. All right, well, that's something uh, to watch out for tonight. And uh, like that. You're going to reel off all the hits. Yes. Do you guys, uh, do you guys ever, like, argue over, like, what song goes first, or uh, does it matter anymore? No, it always matters. Um, we want to put on the best show possible, and, you know... The pacing of the show and, you know, what comes first, what comes second, that, that all matters. And, um, you know, we we don't have arguments. We might have discussions. <laughs> Some people may be very passionate about... Some people may speak louder than others when yes. they discuss. Yes. 
But who, uh, the, who, who does speak the loudest? <laughs> it's not me or Jordan, really. It's I who doubt carries it. the the biggest stick. Is the I biggest. doubt it's Joey. Well, maybe it is Joey then. Well, sometimes it it depends. You know, in certain songs, different people are passionate about different things. So, not not one more than the other. And in the end, we all you know come together and we work it out. It's never a big deal. All right. Does anybody want to run up here and give one of these guys a big hug? Because I know. Come on up here. Look at this. Look at the. There you go, what? Jordan. See, this is what I'm talking about, this folks. This is the love. This is the love. <laughs> this is one of the. This is. There it is. The best one, two. She's this married too. One of too. the beautiful Never ladies life. that I was talking about. There you go. This is what we get. To There's look a milf right for two there. hours a <laughs> night. <laughs> There's the uh, we have the best Come job Come up here. You're on the planet. Now they're fighting over who's the MILF here. This girl has three kids. Look at this. Well, I, maybe I shouldn't have started this. It's turning into a love fest right here. We've been friends 20 years and friends because of you guys. They are friends because Well, suddenly Amanda and I don't even matter anymore. We, we can probably just leave at this point. All right, enough enough about your marriage. All right, yeah, we got to get back in Let there. me ask you one more thing. Is your official name now, I thought it was still New Kids on the Block, but is it NK, uh, NKOTB? It's New Kids on the Block. It's, it's New Kids on the Block, yeah, okay. NKOTB has always been a nickname yeah. that we really didn't come up with. It just naturally happened, so we use it from time to time. But New Kids on the Block is who we are. All right, very good. Once more, uh, Jordan. And a Danny right here. Let's give them a nice round of applause. New kids on the block. Thank you.